Hey you guys, it's Shandero. What is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. <laughs> this is one of the worst first impressions of a video if you're new to my channel. If you're not new, I know you're getting a key key. <laughs> Anyways, the reason why is I was in the garden and I was trying to do my fig tree so you know I had to wear sunscreen so you know I, I wear this basic sunscreen when I go to the garden. With that being said you guys, in today's video we will be testing TikTok's banned skincare products. So the most hated TikTok skincare products on the planet Earth. We are testing in a video today. It's a skincare routine. I am so excited to do this because I know this TikTok skincare gurus are shaking in their boots. With that being said, you guys. <laughs> This is just all fun, but I am slowly noticing the pendulum is swinging back to like it was two years ago when I first started doing my skincare videos because it wasn't this militant and it wasn't this bad. So I sort of see the pendulum swinging because I'm getting a lot of DMs of how y'all seeing the bias in the skincare community thanks to Rihanna. So the first product I am going to use to take off this sunscreen is makeup wipes. So I couldn't decide if I wanted to use Epoly Beauty makeup wipes or Neutrogena wake makeup wipes. These are a little dry. They need to be wetted. So I'm going to put those over here and we're just going to use Neutrogena because they're pretty moist. And this is my double cleanse to take off the sunscreen. So there you have it. Oh my God, this came off nicely. And y'all be talking about using cleansing bombs. Um, <laughs> this is all I have to say. Uh, if the cleansing bombs irritate and clog your pores, did you see how easy that sunscreen came off with this wipe? Oh my God. Did y'all see that sunscreen come off? Oh my God. Miracle. Miracle workers. Miracle workers. That's what I have to say. <laughs> I mean, it did wonders. Don't y'all think that was just so easy instead of all the cleansing bombs they be swearing up and down, do miracles, be clogging my pores. So now that I've got most of the sunscreen residue off my skin, there is a war going on on TikTok whether after you remove your sunscreen with makeup wipes, well they don't, they use cleansing bombs, should you cleanse or exfoliate. Some people people feel you should cleanse first and some people feel you should exfoliate. Um, I'm going to be neutral in this so I'm just going to exfoliate first because Dr. Lancer who is a dermatologist recommends you exfoliate before you cleanse. So I'm going to go ahead with the Crips in the skincare guru TikTok skincare community and I'm going to exfoliate first. Now I will be exfoliating with their most hated product. And it is the same <laughs> Oh, I feel the dislikes coming. Oh, I know y'all mad at me, but hey, look, I gotta exfoliate to get the sunscreen off. So I'm using this. Don't hate me, but y'all wasn't saying that when y'all was getting in Fenty Skin PR packages and they had fragrance and witch hazel. So don't judge me for my apricot scrub, honey. Oh, yes. Come through, apricot scrub. <laughs> Uh, I don't feel like my skin is bleeding, but I could be wrong because you know I'm not a TikTok skincare guru, but um, I do feel the sunscreen coming off my skin. So, you know, come through St. Eyes Africa. <laughs> okay, so the St. Eyes is officially off my skin. Do y'all see micro tears yet? Is there any micro tears? Okay, I'm good so far. I don't have a magnifying glass, but you know, I'm just praying I didn't get any micro tears. The next band product we are going to use in this band TikTok skincare routine. I know y'all was shaking at the St. Eyes, but we are going to be using another St. Eyes product. I'm sorry. <laughs> We will be using the St. Ives Daily Hydrating Watermelon Cleanser. Now, this is full of fragrance, honey. 
it smells just like watermelon like a bubblegum watermelon um it is made with 100% natural watermelon extract and honey this is full of sulfates oh my god the second ingredient is a sulfate the tiktok skincare community is quaking y'all they are quaking well let me slather myself in this highly fragrant sodium laurel sulfate laden glycerin <laughs> Oh my God, the TikTok skincare community is shaking. But y'all wasn't saying that about Fenty Skin, honey. Y'all was doing giveaways. <laughs> With that being said, you guys, I do want to say this. Shout out to the TikTok skincare guru, Crips, for telling me to exfoliate before I cleanse. I kind of like that first. So shout out to you, TikTok skincare guru, Crips. Now, with that being said, let me go ahead and try my face. <laughs> now it's time to tone our skin. So the next product that is banned and people can't stand is witch hazel on tiktok so i will be using dickerson's witch hazel i'm using the floral version because i know y'all can't stand florals and petals any sorts of things on tiktok so i made sure it was the floral version but i want to say this when fenty skin came out with a toner serum yeah it has witch hazel in it but yeah those contradictions but <laughs> Now I know they are quaking with the cotton pads. Are you? Ooh, I can feel the glares. But you know what? I like a cotton pad. I prefer a cotton pad because I want to see the dirt. I want to see how well I am cleaning my skin. So I like a good cotton pad. Um, I am going in with a fragrance serum because I think that's the most band we gonna get is with the fragrance. Um, and I am going in with the Super Fruits Watermelon Hydrating Juicy Serum um, from Earth to Skin. I heard a lot of y'all didn't like Earth to Skin so I decided to just put it in this routine so y'all can stand it, honey. And make sure you let you know this is super laden with fragrance fragrance is actually probably like the fifth ingredient in this product <laughs> just oh i'm did i touch my skin let me touch my skin so with the bacterial part just flag y'all calm down let me touch the, let me not have these tiktok skincare gurus on the crimp and blood side quaking because you know i don't want to start a war here i don't want no smoke so let me stop let me stop <laughs> So the next step in this routine is to officially moisturize. Y'all know about the war, but I get kind of confused because, you know, the Crips and the Bloods, both of them in the skincare TikTok guru community, they really can't decide if they are for Cetaphil or against Cetaphil. Like, are they coming together as a whole? and Banny Cetaphil because in the in the Crips and the Blood side of the skincare TikTok community game there's little factions of people who are for Cetaphil and then there's little factions of people who are not for Cetaphil as a whole so I need some clarification or is Cetaphil good or bad so I'm gonna just go ahead with the Bloods here and I'm gonna just use Cetaphil since they said it's bad and <laughs> And I got it. So we are going to be using Cetaphil's moisturizing lotion to finish off this routine. And I really hope y'all get it together within the factions of both of the Crips and Bloods and the skincare TikTok community and let me know what's going on. Because I just be looking at videos on my PC and I can't tell where y'all stand on Cetaphil. So if you are part of the TikTok skincare guru community um, and you are a Crip or a Blood, please let me know what y'all side thinks of it because I'm really curious. But with that being said, I'm assuming it's a man product because Cetaphil don't get no hype no more. It's like Cetaphil just disappeared and it's all about CeraVe. So I'm just thinking in my head Cetaphil is banned and thanks to the Bloods, they said Cetaphil was banned, so Cetaphil is banned. So <laughs> and this is what my skin looks like. What do you guys think? Let me turn the light down. What do you guys think? Let me do a close up. What do you guys think? Do y'all see micro tears? Do y'all? Let me give my chin. Y'all see micro tears? Here's my other chin. There's a hole somewhere. Y'all see that hole? It's a hole right here. Someone said I have holes in my skin. So, you know, it may not be a pore. It's a hole. We don't know. So, you know, that may be a micro tear. My skin is tearing. So, you know, I just want to let you guys know. <laughs> 
let's talk about it. my skin feels nice and glowy um it feels supple it will probably need an extra boost of hydration because you know cetaphil don't give me that much hydration here in arizona honey i'm gonna need to uh something a little, little thicker so i'm gonna probably put something a little thicker on my son plus another spf with that being said all in all the products weren't bad they're just basic <laughs> basic skincare um if you are going to get into skincare i don't think these are bad products but you know i'm not a tiktok skincare guru because a lot of people are really upset you know there's a lot of contradictions going on in the skincare community with fragrance and witch hazel thanks to fenty skin so you know what shout out to rihanna for finally showing the contradictions in the skincare community because as soon as fenty skin came out honey Everybody was okay with fragrance and witch hazel when first it was bad. So which is it? You know, are you going to be militant and keep that same energy? Y'all like to tell us to keep that same energy and make us feel bad for going in the store buying products. Or are y'all not keeping that same energy by saying it's okay? I just wanted to do this routine with you guys. You know, because I'm keeping the same energy I've had on this channel for two years. I keeps my energy with that visit. If I get myself in more trouble and I had a TikTok skincare community shook. Anyways, you guys, let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. With that being said, you guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in our next video. Bye, you guys. Mwah.